my goodness. I am so happy right now. It's so nice. It's like chilly out. This, this is my weather. This, this is what I like. I actually, I mean, I'm wearing capris in a t-shirt because only because I'm going to Zumba later and that's what I would wear to Zumba. But I literally could be wearing leggings and fluffy socks and a sweatshirt and be completely completely freaking comfortable out here and that would be amazing it's 6 30 I'm waiting for Miss Lacey to get herself together so I can run her to the bus stop and then I'm gonna come back here I'm gonna finish my crochet project and hopefully get it in the mail today and then I have some Luna Oh, I do have the water bottle here. And then hopefully I want to start another pro well, okay, so, and I know, and I don't know what I'm gonna do as far as what I'm gonna upload. Um, I'm just thinking, sorry. Like, you can read my mind. I may just upload this, like, really quickly. as in like an, an update because I really haven't had a whole lot of chance to do a lot of editing because I've had some of the projects that I've had to work on. Um, I've had to crochet, I've had to get some stuff done around the house and um, I had to focus on that and editing for me takes an hour or two depending on what the vlog is. And so you're not getting vlogs every day right now and I. You know, I'm not apologizing for that because that's just the way it is. I have a lot going on. Plus, I'm working every single day for the last two weeks. Well, I haven't had a day off since last Wednesday. Today's Thursday. And I don't have a day off till I don't think, till next Wednesday. I don't know yet because I won't get my schedule till tomorrow. And even with that one day off, I have some, like, overnights and some odd shifts and stuff coming in this next week. But I need the money, so I'm not really complaining about that. Um, I'm just saying that that means that I'm tired. <laughs> so, um, and that's not going to last forever. It's just not. Uh, people are on vacation. There are people out with medical. There are people, you know what I mean? So that's, you know, those kinds of hours aren't going to last forever, though I kind of wish they would, at least through the winter. Because <sighs> looking at the budget, it's getting tough. But I also... I mean, I've really cut back, guys. Like, I've really cut back on on everything. Um, it must be the cat. Uh, so, I, I'm not going out and doing a whole lot because I don't have any money to go do anything. So, basically, it's money's going to the bank for bills and then I'm buying, and the rest of it goes to groceries and that's about it. The little bit of money I do have to spare is going to different projects and stuff for the holidays and... Um, this project with the car, um, which I haven't put a vlog up about that yet, so you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, but I'll get there. I promise. I promise I'll get there, and I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you know, I think I'm just going to kind of, I have vlog material, like I've been vlogging, I've been for the last few days, but I don't think I have anything that's overly interesting except for me sitting here chatting with you. So I may just skip all that and just go to this update video and I'm gonna kill this dog. Simon, it is 6.30 in the morning. Simon. Simon. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I gotta put him in the house. It's too early for him to be out here barking. All right, well, um, I gotta go see if Lacey's ready, so I'll be back. Okay, now I'm in the car. I need to tighten that again. Um, now I'm waiting for Lacey in the car. So anyway, so I figured maybe I'll take this moment to explain what I'm doing with the car. So, I don't even know if I told you about the camping trip. Okay, so I need to go do something for me. And... For me, that's doing something that I enjoy doing, and I've been wanting to go hiking. 
I don't mean walking trails on flatland in Delaware. I mean like something with hills. So I found a place, it's in, I think it's Great Falls, Maryland. I think that's what it's called. I'll put a picture here of the trail. It's right on the Potomac River and it has supposed to have some pretty amazing views and it's supposed to be a pretty decent trail. Now there's a couple of trails in here. There's some moderate ones, but there's some more intense ones. Now I'm from Pennsylvania. So I've gone like to the, I've gone to like the Susquehanna and there's some trails that we've done in there that were, yeah. So I've walked and hiked trails before that were strenuous and that's in sneakers. I'm going to go buy a pair of actual like hiking boots so that I can do this because I, I want to start doing that more regularly. Like when I have time to go do something or go away, that's what I want to do. I want to go and be in nature, whether it's a beach or it's trails or it's hiking or it's something like that. That's what I've always enjoyed doing. That's what I want to continue to do, enjoy doing. Um, I would like to go with people sometimes. I can't take my kid. I love her to death, but she hates walking trails and hiking. It's not her forte. So I don't know, maybe I can find a hiking buddy. I know Laura and Wawa would go with me and you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, um, as I continue to work on myself and get healthier and so on and so forth, I want to continue to do that. Well, this place in particular is about two and a half hours from here and it's not that big, big of a deal for a drive, but when you're going to drive two and a half hours and then hike all day, and then drive two and a half hours back, that doesn't sound very appealing to me. So I've decided that there's a campground near there that is free, you don't have to pay for it. And I'm gonna camp there, but instead of getting a tent and, and all that stuff, I'm going to convert the back of this into a camper. And I know people are probably like, oh my God, you're crazy. Well, actually I've already been getting it. Like people are like, you're stupid, you're crazy, why? People sleep in tents all the time. Why can't I sleep in the back of my SUV? People do it. Like, trust me, Google, Google Ford Escape, living in your Ford Escape on YouTube. There's plenty of videos about people living in their SUVs. Plenty of videos about people living in their cars, living. I'm just gonna camp for a night. I just need a place to lay down and go to sleep so that I don't have to make a long drive back. And so what I'm going to do though, is, is I'm going to set this up makeshiftly so that I can put a bed in it, but I can also take the stuff that I need to go hiking with. Um, I have hiking sticks, you know, first aid kits, safety equipment. Trust me, I'm not going into this blind. I've gone hiking before. This is not new for me. Um, you know, I've always gone with somebody, but <laughs> so that part's new for me, but I have my phone. You know what I mean? Like nowadays you're never really without connection to the outside world. My intention is to go and not be on my phone except to vlog it. Um, and when I mean vlog it, I mean every now and then pick it up and say, Hey, and then take pictures and video of scenery so that I have photo memories of it. I'm not really going to like vlog the entire hike. You know what I mean? I don't plan to be on Facebook during that time. I don't plan to be sending text messages. I don't plan to be on the phone talking to people. I will check in with everybody to let everybody know that I'm safe. And that's about the extent of it. I need to go be one with nature. It's where, it's where I find my Zen in nature. Whether, like I said, whether it's at the beach or it's you know, and I'm just, I'm not getting it here. I mean, I get a little bit in my yard because it's mine and stuff, but I need to go where there's nobody. Um, and one of the things like, cause like I said, Greg and I hiked a lot. And one of the things that we absolutely loved about being on a trail in the middle of nowhere was the fact that there was nobody there. And that in retrospect, nobody really knew how to get a hold of us or find us. It was like, we got lost. So I need to go get lost, but not really be lost. I don't know if that makes any sense. You know, um, I know like if my mom's watching this, I know you're freaking out cause I'm going by myself and I know there are other people up there. Oh, well, do you think that's safe? And trust me, I've been getting it all week. 
I understand there are dangers, but there are dangers in me driving my car up the street. There are dangers in me, you know, going to the grocery store. There are dangers in going to amusement parks. There are dangers everywhere you go. There are dangers. Um, you cannot live in fear. If I lived in fear, I would do nothing. And one of the biggest things is, and this is one of those things that I want to stress to a lot of people, is this is what God showed me in the end when I was dealing with Greg. I lived in fear. I didn't want to drive a car because I was afraid to. I didn't want to do a lot of things because I was afraid. I was afraid of thunderstorms. I was afraid of spiders. I was afraid of a lot of things. I was afraid to die. Okay, I was. I was afraid to die. Not death in itself, but of how I would die. You know what I mean? Like I was terrified of it. Like I was terrified it was going to hurt and it was going to be painful. And God showed me in that last week that that's not the way it works. It's not. And he also showed me that I can't live in fear because then I won't live. Now, on the flip side of that, I'm 40 years old and I know you gotta take precautions and safety measures in anything you do. It's just like a car. You gotta keep on the upkeep of the car to keep it safe so that it doesn't, you don't have accidents. You know, you gotta take safety measures in the kitchen so you don't set the place on fire. I will take safety measures when I go camping so that oh, nothing's going to happen. And if something does, then something does. But I, I'm not going to invite it. Let's just put it that way. Um, you know, there's... Life is too damn short to live in fear and not do something. And I'll be honest, you know, a lot of... Because I don't really want to do a lot of things by myself. I don't... You know, there's all kinds of things to... I have on my bucket list to do, but... And some of them I'll do by myself, but some of them it's like how it would be so much more enjoyable to do them with somebody else, whether it's a friend or a family member or, you know, anybody else, my daughter, you know, but I don't want to necessarily do all those things alone. So this is just one of those things that I need to do alone. I need to go and I need to reflect and I need to be one with nature. So I'm going to, but in the meantime, I'm going to put a bed in the back of my car so that I have somewhere to sleep. I can lock the car. Can't lock a tent. Here she comes. Miss America. Okay, so I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put you here for the moment. I gotta stick these sodas on the porch. So Again, the general idea is just to be able to sleep in here. Um, I was going to build, well, I'm still going to, I just can't do it this week. So I'm going to take I just don't know where to put you guys where you're going to be able to see me do this. I guess up there. All right. How much? Hold on. 
So I guess if I can put you like that. Okay, you can see me, so that's good. Okay, I bought these, which is just those like 97 cent pieces of fabric. The idea is to put some Velcro on it to hang up in the windows. But we'll do that last. This is the memory foam popper. Um, I got a tarp with bungee cords. I got a knife. I'm not going on this trip without it. some kind of weapon. And this will be good for everything. It's even got a fire starter in it. So I'm going to take everything out. I know earlier today we had already disassembled the seats. disassembled the seat. So they're just sitting in here right now. For now, let's see. I guess I need to turn off the lights so I don't drain the battery. And then the headrest. Now, here's the thing. I probably did not need to take the seats off. The seats actually fit down into the floor. But I took them off because then that means that, sorry, this it's a mess, I know, that there's room down here to store stuff. I'm loving this guy that does the field. It's, and like, I can access the pouches on the back of the seats and there's like, bug spray and other things. Apparently there's Sour Patch Kids. So I'm going to take this to the car wash at some point and vacuum it out. But right now I'm just kind of doing a temporary job because ugh. Dirty, dirty, dirty. See, I know I have some armor all wipes. I'm gonna wipe some of this down back here. But, um, can you hear him? <laughs> but yeah, so I just wanna see if it's gonna work, if I need to do something else or modify in any way. I wanna be able to know before. I go camping. And like I said, I'm thinking about this now because I don't have my schedule for next week. So if he gave me two days off in a row next week, I'm going next week. I want to go now, like today, but obviously, unless I call off work and take a mental health day, which I think I should be able to do after yesterday, but that's a whole nother story. And I don't know if that's getting posted or not because I don't like to vent. So, so yeah, now eventually, I mean, obviously I can sit up in here. Eventually I will build a platform back here that will sit about eight inches up. Maybe, I don't know. Like I keep changing my mind. Oh, <laughs> he just flew right above my head. I'll have to wait till he comes back around so that maybe I can get him. He might. I don't know. He's spraying the fields back behind the trails on the other side of Route 1. So that's what he's doing. That's, we learned that a while ago. So, but yeah, I was thinking of building a platform up so that I could fit totes underneath. But the only way that that really becomes necessary is if I'm going to live in this for long periods of time. Um to go on like weekend trips and stuff. I think there's plenty of room for storage without having to do that. Plus, if I have to sit back here because it's raining or whatever, I can. Like, there's plenty of room between me and the roof. 
So, I may rethink that whole platform thing. And, you know, I just, I get, there's butterflies out there too. I get really excited about stuff. And, but the fact that I can do it <laughs> is enough. But I'm definitely going to take this overnight trip. And it makes no sense to spend money on a hotel when all I need to do is sleep. Um, you know, I'm not trying to impress anybody. I'm going hiking. <laughs> so baby wipes and some food and some water and hiking gear and I'm good. So the only thing that I bought was I bought the Tempur-Pedic mattress to put back here. I put, bought a couple of baskets that I can use to store some things in. And whether I use them in the house or, or and then I bought a tarp which we had talked about possibly draping over the roof and bringing down which could cover the side windows but I also bought um, velcro and black fabric for that too and I bought a knife because I didn't want to go without some kind of a utensil um, call it a weapon if you want, but you know, it's called, you know, I'm not going into this not being safe guys. I, I just am not. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm going to prop you guys up and you guys can watch me figure this out. So I put back here. Okay, so... Not the most comfortable thing in the world but for one night's sleep it'll do or even you know a couple of nights you put some blankets in here and it's not that bad the biggest issue is my feet overhang outside so I wouldn't be able to lay I mean, I might be able to with my head up here. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, with the pillow, with some pillows and blankets, this wouldn't be too bad. So, I mean, it's not terrible. Let's pull these doors shut once. And then we'll out of the car. Yeah, I mean, yeah, 
I mean, I'm sleeping for a night. I'm going camping. It's better than sleeping on the ground. I can double up on the blue because I'm not doing them all. So there's that. Sorry, you guys couldn't see me. So, I mean, I kind of want to just go get some blankets now <laughs> and pillows. So it's not terrible by any stretch. Like I said, I mean, you get some pillows and you get some blankets and it won't be that bad. I could handle it for a night or two for the sheer adrenaline of camping. Plus the view won't be bad. Like I could So I think what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to put you here. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm just taking you along with my thought process. <laughs> and I'm going to put, see this thing's nice because it rolls up. So like I could literally put that to the side. Hey birdie. But I can literally double up on these because So, I mean, that's a little better. <laughs> It'll work. It'll do. Again, once I get blankets and stuff out here, I actually think there might be a sleeping bag in the shed. I'll probably roll that out on top of this and sleep on top of that as well. Right now I'm going to open my knife. And attempt to make some curtains. Maybe. Like, doesn't want to let me in. Let me in! Let me in! I want my knife! I think I'm nuts. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> just, just a little. I'm really excited. Like, I want to go hiking. I got to get boots. I have a gift card. Ooh. Ooh. It's nice. N oh. <laughs> so. For obvious reasons, um, safety, um, security. I mean, it's got the paracord on it in case I need it for anything. It's got this and it's got a fire starter, which I have no idea on how to use. I have no idea how to use this. <laughs> I'll have to look that up. So, I guess it isn't there. So, I've got my knife and I can, I'm going to attach it to my backpack. 
but right now what I want to see is if I can make makeshift curtains. So I'm not gonna mow this part of my yard anyway, so that's okay. I'll get it. Velcro is probably the easiest way to go. I don't have scissors, but I have a knife. <laughs> okay. So, I just got black, you know, the girl in me wanted to get the pretty butterfly ones, but I don't want to scream that I'm a female in the middle of the woods. <laughs> so, I went with black. I was going to get um, camouflage, but it was more expensive. <laughs> These are only 97 cents, $3 for the pack of Velcro. And then I saw, like, on the clearance track, they had, like, those pull-down shades. Uh, I'll get that. The lawnmower guy's looking at me like I'm crazy. He can't get back to my part of the yard. It's okay, I'll get it. Oh gosh, I can't get this off. <laughs> so much for not having nails. There we go. So So that's not going to work. The Velcro is not going to stick to the, the fabric, which is fine. I'll either figure out another way to do it or I don't know what that's for. Um, Or something else and I actually want to see what happens when I do this tarp so my knife those aren't gonna work me being who I am I'm crafty enough that I'll figure that out but okay so I've done really not much of anything except for take seats out and put a mattress back here a mat back here to sleep on so I, this is not exciting at all. <laughs> It'll be more exciting when I'm actually in the middle of the woods. That's gonna be exciting. So yeah, now the next thing that I wanna do is I want to see how this tarp works out. So let's go outside. So, oh, sorry. Ouch. So that's what it looks like. Nothing massive. Um, again, I eventually I want to build a platform so I can put totes underneath so I can store hiking gear, blah, blah, blah. But for now, this is just going to have to do. Now let's see. Hold on a second. Ugh. I'm drinking that lemonade, but it's not the greatest. I'm gonna shut this. This is 
garbage. <gasps> There's a caterpillar. Oh, he's dead. Uh, somebody killed him. You guys, give me ash. These are the baskets I got. Look how nice these are. So I got two, there were a dollar. Originally three dollars. So they were 75% off. But I figure some food or some first aid kit. <laughs> small one because I don't know how big of one I'm going to need. Hopefully this will be big enough. Which doesn't look like it. So doing that covers up these two windows on both sides. So I don't need to put curtains in because the tarp will cover that up. I didn't want to cover the back up because then I can't open it. Now I was going to hook it in here and I just realized that this is broken. It wasn't broken an hour ago. So apparently it is now. So I will have to see about getting that fixed. But, hold on. But if we come in here, I can leave that open for air. I could even leave the side windows open for air. I could roll them down because the air would still get through, depending on how cold it is. But nobody, unless they're looking in the front windows, would really be able to see. So, yeah, that I think is going to work out pretty good. So when I set up camp, I'll just put the tarp over top. And cover the windows. Now, you know, I could sit here and think about all the, the fears and the things that could happen but the chances of them happening are slim to none and as long as I take precautions and you know I will have my phone with me I will have I mean I'm like right next to a town I'll have a knife I will probably have some other things but I got these little baskets I can put stuff in yeah, so I think that's going to work. I think that's going to work. Just need blankets and pillows. My hiking gear. I 
and probably something to cover up this back window. Though it's tinted, so I might not need to. I mean, and as far as the front windows are concerned, I don't know yet. I haven't figured that part out yet. If I even need to. I might just hang a bungee cord from here across and just put like a blanket over it to kind of block that part off so that nobody can see in. I know all this for one night, right? Well, I mean, it's for one night this time, but you know, eventually I might do this a lot more often. I mean, ideally I would have a little bit better of a setup, but if you can do it for minimal to low cost, then do it. All right, this video has gotten to be entirely too long. So I'm going to get off here and I don't know what, I guess, get ready for work. <laughs> so I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful, beautiful day and I will see you all in the next video.